you guys know, it's CSI's 30th anniversary this year. We're doing a series of videos to talk about the company over the years, and we're in the final five years. You guys have all been here at least that long. Uh, so just want to kind of share some memories and feelings about your time at CSI. And, and, and um, yeah, so thanks for doing this. I appreciate that. Jim, I think you've been here the longest out of everybody. When did you start? Yeah, one of my 15th year. 15 uh, wow. some years here, yeah. We know each other that long? Yeah. Okay. No wonder we have so much gray. <laughs> exactly. The gray started working here. <laughs> what about you? How long have you been here? For me, it's been five years. Five? Yeah. Oh, that's going fast, too. Yeah. And Kelly? Uh, for me, it's been 12 years. Yeah, I had my interview on my birthday. That's sure. right. Yeah. 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 I remember leaving you a voicemail to get to get you to come in for the interview. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, is it Nick or is it Nick? I had to I had to listen to that a couple times. Yeah, but you still do that. What's mm -hmm. going on? It's still getting interviews. <laughs> and what about you? Uh yeah, I've been here for nine years. It's my tenth year this year. Uh but I mean I started part time, so I don't know if that really kinda of counts in the it whole time frame, yeah. but you must have started when you were like fourteen. Fifteen and a half. Fifteen yeah. and a half. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I think it was 19 at the time, yeah. Sorry. So, you know, as each of you guys have been here for a number of years now, I'm sure you have done multiple roles along the way. Um, tell me a little bit about, like, where you started versus what you're doing now. Kelly, why don't you go first? Okay. Um, so when I started here, like, I don't know, there really wasn't, like, too much of marketing going on here. I don't remember. I mean, it was 12 years ago, but it was more like... Snail mail versus email blasts. Um, I don't recall anything being done in house, like design wise, creative wise. Uh, all brochures were done by vendors um, and suppliers. Yeah, I don't really think there was too much in house stuff at the time. No, no. I mean, I think I even remember one of the very first things he did was a large, like, physical mail out. <laughs> Yep, four and then, days in. Yeah, and, then, <laughs> and, then that, and so now, what do you do now? What do I do now? Well, um, basically, I do most like print and like promo stuff. Um, graphics. Graphics, yeah. creative, basically like, just more of like a creative role uh, in, in, in print and promo, I would say. And then, so you came on. Kelly was going on for first maternity leave, yeah. and so how did you get started? So I believe you guys created a position for me. There was no marketing coordinator at the time, right. yeah. um, and there was a need for website management, social media, email blasts, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so that's kind of how I got hired on, and those are the different things that I was doing. Um, and social media was a pretty big thing back in when I first um, joined the company. Um, so managing that was a really fun task for me. Um, and then now I've worked my way up to management and now I have a team including Kelly and Kushara, marketing coordinator, and yeah, that's pretty much what, what I'm doing. And I mean, I think even Marketing's had a few people dip their toes into it. I think even you were doing it. I don't know if that really counts. I, uh, I mean, I made an Instagram page because we had nothing and then it immediately got taken over by some of you actually knew what they were doing. <laughs> which is the right call, because I was just posting random stock pictures of jobs. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, when I started, it was just warehouse, and then you know, just over time, yeah, I kind of just did a few different things from customer service and then into marketing for a little bit, just through school and like part time. And then uh, when I graduated, I started as, uh, custom, was I customer service supervisor yeah. at that point? And then, yeah, now operations supervisor. So also fortunate to have a, a pretty good team around. And, yeah. yeah. And Jamie, what about you? Uh, started off in the warehouse. Started off there, yeah, 15 years ago. Driving a lift, picking orders. Driving a forklift, pulling orders out there, being the front lines. So, and uh, then I became shipper and then moved on to warehouse supervisor. So, built a great team out there and uh, just in charge of the day-to-day -day operations, I guess, outside. Uh, loading, unloading, picking orders, projects, why not? Keeping it clean and organized. Keeping it clean and organized, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so as, as we talked about, a lot has changed, obviously, over the years, and especially, you know, say in the last, like, 15 years, there's been a ton of change, and um, Kelly already touched on it 
earlier about like, you know, we weren't doing a ton of stuff in-house when it came to like our own graphics and marketing specifically, but um, I seem to recall you, you had a pretty sizable project come on your plate, uh, you know, after being here for a couple of years. So what what is your favorite or fondest memory of, of or accomplishment of working at CSI? Well, a lot of things come to mind um, within the 12 years, but one is probably the bank card revamp, I'd say, because it was like the first time I got to design a brochure from cover to back cover without having to use any sort of existing layout, and we used different branding colors, and we got to create these really cool mood boards, and that was totally straying away from what we would typically do with project images versus mood boards, so that was a really cool kind of more like designer piece, so I'd say that. See, I, I thought you were going to say thin cut, but the first brochure, which was really like the first chance that you got to put a whole brochure together, but yeah, you used existing templates and files. And yeah, I mean, that was really cool too, yeah. though. That was really cool, but I'd say the revamp, for sure. And that turned out beautiful, so yeah. Thank cool. Thank what about you, Brenda? Um, for me, it was probably back in 2017, my most proudest accomplishment was building our website. Um, the website that we are using today has gone through many different phases. Um, so when I first started, I believe you and Kelly had both kind of built the base of the site, but I had to put everything together and yeah. launch it. Yeah. So building the multi-site, we had the US site, the Canadian English, the Canadian French, like that was a lot of work, but it sure paid off. And then, you know, over the years, we've kind of added different elements to make it more user-friendly for homeowners, not only just our dealers, but our architects, our designers, our specifiers have the tools available for them. So that's probably one of my biggest accomplishments. And then just seeing the website evolve over the years after, it's just so exciting for me. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I, I think it's definitely come kind of, even from when we started, like when I started nine years ago, it's a totally different website now. And oh, it's quite, I, I think there yeah. was two versions yeah. of that one. <laughs> there was just the Golden Stone one, remember? Yeah, yeah, the very first one. <laughs> the very first one. It's amazing how fast that looked out of date. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy, what about you? Uh, for me, probably uh, taking over for Terry and uh, kind of building the warehouse what it is now. Um, got a great team out there. Uh, we have full sample production outside now. Um, yeah, just making it what it is now. Um, I had some big boots to fill, but uh, I took over for him and everything seems to be working out pretty good. So yeah. basically probably the team it is now. A, so. a lot has changed since you took over the like said, full on sample department. We have like seven other product lines and try to keep it organized and fit. Yeah. Cool. For sure. Got anything for you? Yeah, I mean, I think I think overall, just in the office, I, I think we've come a long way um, in the last few years, just in terms of like, you know, we've, we've introduced our, our values into the office, I think, like bringing those into place and um, kind of rolling those out to the team has really helped us create kind of like clear guidelines and clear progression forward. And I think like we've put ourselves in a really good spot. Um, and I'm really happy with just kind of how we were able to, to roll that out to everybody. And, and looking forward to see kind of where it goes in the future as well. And have it yeah. seem to resonate and, and have yeah. to like keep it top of mind. People buy it like they're buying in, yeah. I think that's half the battle. So being yeah. able to get to that point just seems like a bit of accomplishment in its own. Yeah, definitely. If you have to think of a word or a couple words to describe CSI, what would that be? Yeah, I think, uh, I think supportive would probably be a good one for me. I mean, I started in university part-time and it was always very... Um, since I was very accommodating to my schedule as a student and, you know, respectful of my time off of school, which was great, and then kind of kept me going part-time throughout the year and um, let me dip my toes in a lot of different ponds, so I was able to try marketing and, uh, you know, I obviously worked in a warehouse and I did some sales stuff for a while, so it was very supportive to help me kind of find my way to where I am now, which was, uh, yeah, very appreciated looking back now. Cool. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, so I could go with the warm fuzzy ones, but I think the word for me would be flexible and I guess accommodating as well. For me with my position, I've gone through a lot of changes in my personal life, leaving here twice to go on maternity and no one said anything to me other than congratulations and let me Glad you added that part. Yeah. <laughs> um, and just, you know, taking my position from full time to part time and 
just kind of letting me fit in my personal life at the same time is still successfully working here at CSI. Yeah. I guess that would be my word. Cool. Yeah. I like that. Thank you. Hey. Um, for me, it would be loyalty. Um, because I joined the company, like, I was a newlywed at the time, I was fresh out of university, and, um, you know, CSI just provided so much growth opportunity for me and my career, so loyalty is something that's special for me. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, for me, I'm going to go and say family. I consider this place to be, like, a great family. Everybody's supportive, uh, from outside to inside, all the way to the top. Um, they we're all here for each other, and uh, through thick and thin, and uh, yeah, I just feel like this is a CSI family. So. Oh, that's nice. For, for me, it's got to be friendship, because there ain't no ship like friendship. All right. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Was, no dad jokes? I have a real one. It's, it's my real one's opportunity. Opportunity? My real one's opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> opportunity.